Hi right, folks, I've just taken my brand mini for a walk, it's now, what is it, uh, 12.34 am. So yeah, well I just did the video, the video is going online talking about um, John 10, 15 to 16, I have other sheep, idiots. Um, yeah, yeah, well that's the point, you know. Um, does it matter that I've said idiots? It... <laughs> Yeah, will people be offended by it? Yes. Do I care? No. Because, yeah, for ninety percent of the world, yeah, have we all been idiots in our lives at times, made stupid decisions that have caused us problems? Yeah. Yeah, most of us in church, if we look at our lives properly and truthfully, have we been idiots in our lives? The answer is yes, we have. Yeah. It's not about looking down upon people. Because I was looking down at myself as, as well, wasn't I? So therefore, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm higher than anyone. Or better than anyone. I'm saying I've been an idiot for 27 years. So therefore, yeah. I can still be an idiot now. At some times, yeah. Make stupid decisions and that sort of thing all the time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When I went to church, I was I was affected by what I saw. Now, the point of it that I was making in the last one is that I shouldn't have been. I should have understood that that's how church would be. That's how people in church would be. That is quite natural. If you see these people as sheep, if you understand sheep, then, of course, it shouldn't be surprising that people are that way. Okay, would, would it bother me or should it bother anyone if the Lord is calling us idiots? Well, no, it shouldn't. Because basically the Lord, is, the Lord knew that when he died for us, a lot of people w would completely reject that. Completely reject it. But he still did it. Yeah, and he knew a lot of people would make you know, stupid things about it. And most churches will say they might... Yeah. And God wants them to do what they're doing, which is a complete lie. Yeah, and they're mucking around in the church all the time. Talking about him and saying it's all about him, that sort of crap. Yeah, doing what the devil wanted him to do. Yeah. Put him high, 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 high. Higher than the father, higher than, higher from everything. Yeah. He knew that. But he still died for us. That's the point. So, you know, are we idiots for doing that? Yeah. Are we idiots for giving our lives to God and taking it back straight away? Of course. It's a blinking stupid thing to do. But we all have done that. All of us have done that. Yeah. That is truth. That's not picking on someone we've all done it and he knew we would do it he knew that well you look at um peter and you know what he was saying sometimes he was wrong a lot of time even after the lord died and come back rose again peter was still wrong about things and saying stupid things did love still did God still love him yes was was the blood still covering him yes did it really matter not really well it helped us didn't it because when we look at Peter we know that if we do stupid things okay 
Mirak him. Yeah. And sometimes, if we want to kill someone, we're like Paul or Saul. Because, yeah, he was there doing that, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, so sometimes as a believer in Yeshua, you still wanted to kill someone. Yeah, sometimes. He didn't, but he would have wanted to. Oh, there have been times when he would have wanted to call upon someone to stone someone. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't do it, but yeah. Was it in his mind sometimes? Probably, yeah. But that's the point, you know. We're all on a journey, aren't we? We should be honest about where we, where we are. And the problem is, people don't really want to do that. Because they don't want to know where they are yeah because yeah it's hard of course it's bloody hard it is hard i'm not going to say it's easy it's not it's not easy at all it's bloody hard looking at where you are and seeing oh my god i'm so far from where i want to be yeah Well, right now, that's where I am. Yeah? I don't want to be where I am now. I want to be nearer God and nearer his nature. But I'm not, I'm not there yet. No. And it hurts. And it's hard looking at that. But we need to look. We need to know. Because then we can help each, each other. Well, as I said before, you know, if you're further than someone else, your job is about helping those, those people to lift them up. That's your job. To lift them up. If you're higher than them. It's not your job to point down to them and say, <laughs> I'm higher than you. No. It's your job to put your hand down and help and lift them up. That's your job. But we can't do that because most people won't be honest about where they are. So we can't lift them up because they, they think they're higher than them when higher than where they are. So therefore, can we lift them up? No. And can them, can they lift us up? No. Because they're not really where they think they are. Yeah. We need to listen to God and do what he wants us to do. And be honest with each other and with ourselves. Anyway, there you go. Speak to you later. God bless. Be a blessing. Be blessed. Bye-bye.